Welcome to my channel Learn and Grow. Today our topic is cache memory. Cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up CPU. So cache memory and the ante very high speed memory. So in the use chest number CPU CPU and speed up chain and use chest. It acts as a buffer between the CPU and the main memory. So a cache memory and the buffer access between CPU and the main memory. It is used to hold those parts of data and program which are most frequently used by the CPU. So cache memory and data and programs ni hold chase kunta. So a type of data and CPU and the frequency ga a data and the use chase kunta frequent data ni cache memory and the hold chase kunta. The parts of data and program retransfer from disk to cache memory by OS. So a parts of data and data or programs and store chase kunta or hold chase kunta data or programs ava ita unayo. Retransmit transmit chasa from disk to cache memory by using operating system. So, I can diagrammatic the choose the CPU and main memory. So, CPU ki main memory ki middle la the cache memory. So, cache memory la manka total three levels unta L1, L2, L3. So, L1 is the fastest memory and L2 fast, L3 less fast. So, ante ikkada manaki CPU ki near ga edaithe L1 or L2 or L3 level unnayo. So, near ga unna level anedi fast ga work avutundi compared to L2 and L3. Next CPU cache memory and main memory. So, ikkada em avutundi CPU to cache word anedi transfer avutundi. So, cache to main memory ki block anedi transfer avutundi. Same main memory to cache memory ki Data is essential and slow the operation and cache memory to CPU data essential and operation and fast So Ella work out the cache memory and first one buffering. Cache memory sits between CPU and main memory acting as an intermediary to speed up data retriever. So I could buffering and TNT and cache memory and the main memory and CPU middle law on the so then one name out in the end of buffer access and the data on the fast travel out in CPU ki cache to CPU ki data on the fast transfer out in. next data duplication it stores the copy of data that is frequently used by the CPU so CPU on the frequent data issues the data a copy in storage is going to the process the data duplication and performance increase when the CPU needs data it first checks the cache so performance increase and te, for example CPU ki data kawali and te, execution chedan ki data kawali and te, first check as such as in the or record check as in the cache memory lo check as first so either lo two types and te, cache hit and cache miss cache hit and te, if the data is found in the cache it is a cache hit and the CPU can access it very quickly so I could cache hit and take the end of my data search as data so, the data and data on the cache memory loan take cache hit and so I put the cache hit loan the CPU and the easy go access to go on the faster cache miss if the data is not in the cache and the CPU has the has to retrieve it from the slower main memory but this information is then often added to the cache for future use so eppudai the cache memory lo data anedi available ga ledo main memory undi kada so main memory lo search chesi so main memory lo kachithanga data anedi untadi so appudu accessing anedi ela untadi konchu slow ga untadi but aa data edaithe unda data ni malli cache memory anedi future use kosam store chestunnadu Next advantages, cache memory is faster than main memory. So compared to main memory, cache memory is faster work out. It consumes less access time as compared to main memory. So access time is also It stores the program that can be executed within a short period of time. So I can programs or data and store and if programs are in short period of time, lo ne execute out there. Ante takku time lo execute out there. It stores data for temporary use. So data ni temporary ga store chal. Ante temporary use ki store chal kunte. Disadvantages: cache memory is limited capacity. So cache memory ani the limited capacity onta the and it is very expensive. So ante cache memory ani the expensive. 